I think today is a very significant uh, day. Today we finally uh, recognize the IRGC for what it is. It's an entity that has uh, suffocated, uh, bludgeoned uh, Iranians at home and is also responsible uh, for fomenting instability throughout the world. The decision uh, to list an organization uh, under Canada's criminal code as a terrorist entity uh, isn't made because of comments on uh, Twitter uh, or uh, a question period. It's made based on the advice uh, of our security services. It's made uh, based on foreign policy considerations that perhaps my colleague could address. Um, it's a deliberative process. It's a threshold that has to be met under the Criminal Code of Canada. Uh, the Cabinet considers, obviously, the advice of our security agencies, CSIS and the RCMP. So the Government of Canada has concluded, after a deliberative process, uh, based on very, very strong and compelling evidence that the Cabinet received, that now is the time to list the IRGC uh, as a criminal, uh, as a criminal terrorist entity. We've been saying for years now uh, to Canadians, don't go to Iran. With this decision today, there is a heightened risk of arbitrary detention in Iran. So my message is clear. For those who are in Iran right now, it's time to come back home. And for those who are planning to Iran, to go to Iran, don't go. Uh, we don't have an embassy in Iran. We've cut diplomatic ties uh, for years now, and therefore we won't be able to provide the consular uh, expertise that would be required.